And you're listening to Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio 93.2 FM with Susie Casson, Andrew Tildersley and... And Corey Froggart. Great. And, and joining us in the studio right now, we've got Ruth Nutter from Ruskin in Sheffield. Now you're here to talk to us about a parlour, a temporary parlour. It's going to be outside Atkinson's uh, at the Moor in Sheffield from the 30th of July to the 12th of August. Is that is all of that right? That is all right, I've yes. Got correct data. <laughs> yes. Right, OK, so um, firstly, what is Ruskin in Sheffield? So Ruskin in Sheffield um, is a project that was set up by the Guild of St George who own and support the Ruskin collection, which a lot of people know from walking through the Millennium Gallery. Um, and this project was set up because I think the Guild realised there was a lot of interest in Ruskin himself, his ideas, his belief in trying to make lives better for people through promoting arts, crafts and the rural economy. So it, they asked me to set up arts events that would engage people with those ideas as well as things that were just sort of sitting in glass cabinets which are beautiful but you can get those ideas out into communities so that people can actually enjoy themselves get together be creative and that's that's my role that sounds sounds great so so ruskin he's got something of a legacy uh, in Sheffield. What's his connection with Sheffield? Well, I think his main legacy, really, other than the, the collection itself, which he um, established um, in Walkley in Victorian times for the Victorian metal workers. And his legacy is that collection still. It was amazing at the time. Um, it had, the, and there still are, paintings, uh, drawings, illustrated manuscripts, rare books, minerals, architectural casts. So these things, I mean, you know, there were hardly any public museums, you know, in the late 1800s. Yeah, yeah. And there in Walkley was this cottage stuffed full. Wow. of remarkable objects from around the world which was regularly visited by metal workers so it's no accident that we've got some you know uh, silversmiths like Omar Ramsden you know who was one of the, the, the most famous in the world regularly visited that museum as well as studying at the School of Art so that legacy I think it's a bit like it's, it, it's in people's blood that they really want to work well as artisans as well as just make things and I think that that, that kind of that tradition still carries on today um, and you know Ruskin felt that that the, our metal workers were some of the best in the world and it's as though that quality still exists today. Quite right too, quite right too. So um, you chose the name Ruskin's Use and Beauty Parlour. What's what's with that name? Well, it's a funny mix of things really. I like to... Um, put art in places or, and, and give, give it names that people don't think it's an art exhibition because that's not what it is. So right. use some beauty parlour, you think, well, what is that? So it, it attracts curiosity. Sure, um, yeah. Also, this idea of a beauty parlour that you come in expecting it's about beautifying yourself. This is actually about wider beauty in the world, so natural beauty, artistic beauty, because those things are, are as important to everybody as your kind of daily bread and butter and trying to make yourself look all right. It's actually, well, <laughs> actually appreciating the world around you yeah. and that's whether that's a you know huge beautiful mountain or that is your backyard or that is the more that you look and you find beauty so it's about appreciating and enjoying artworks in there making things yourself and we said use and beauty because it's not just about you know beauty things that are beautiful in their own right but things that are useful as well because that okay. combination Ruskin um, really felt helped made, make your life better you know yeah. if you could make Anything that was useful, beautiful as well. Well, why not? Is that why he was so popular with metal workers? Because they were creating absolutely, absolutely. They were yeah, they were making yeah. very useful things. But he was saying, well, you know, if you're going to do, you know, uh, railings or a, or a, a gate <laughs> or a balcony, why not make it beautiful? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. So, uh, so at this exhibition, what kind of things can we do then? If we want to get involved, what can we do? What you can do is um, there are going to be different professional craftspeople based there each day who are all really kind of successful, make a living in their own right um, mm. as as artists and craftspeople. So depending which day you come, you might come in, you could do some metal repousse work, which is basically bashing out metal, making little copper bowls. There's a Japanese right. artist there called Seiko Kinoshita. You can do, weave tiny, beautiful little bowls with her. Oh, and wow. there is another artist doing crystal gardens and porcelain. So it's using their techniques, but in a way that you can make something beautiful and it'll all be added onto a sculpture that we're making. There's loads of other things to do in there as well. You can draw, you can go and collect things that you find interesting or beautiful on the moor and frame them in some little tiny frames that we've got Um, so there are different things to do you can write about making we'll be asking you questions and recording those so it's it's a real mixture influence from all around the world as well from absolutely absolutely so when you come in and we, we particularly want to gather there's a lovely sculpture that you can actually sit inside and we're asking people where are you from what kinds of things do you make who's helped make you what you are and we want to get you know, 
um, responses from, from people who've maybe lived here all their lives, have travelled from somewhere else. So we've got that kind of, yeah, completely it's also a international. It's celebration of diversity. It so totally, absolutely is, yeah. Fantastic. Um, so how can people find out more about this exhibition? I mean, the best thing I would recommend is if you're in town, just come down to the moor. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's there, it's right outside Atkinson's. That's the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's, or you can go on Ruskin in Sheffield, uh, dot com has got all the opening times but we're basically open from this Saturday the 30th of July through to the Friday the 12th of August 11am till 4pm every day it's all free come in and I can promise you we'll find you something to do or look at that you'll enjoy